Hello everyone. AICTE approval process for 2023-24 handbook was released on 22nd March 2023. As per the approval process handbook, what are the major changes in 2023-24? Those are all presented in this video. Intake. It is cap for a single course 180 to 240. So earlier the maximum allowed intake for a single course is 180. Now that is increased to 240. Number of classrooms. Earlier 75 percentage is there. Now that is reduced to 50 percentage. That can be calculated uh, like this. 0.5 into number of divisions. Computers earlier 1 is to 6 ratio is there. Now that is increased to 1 is to 10. That means 1 for every 10 students. New colleges are allowed to establish. New colleges intake is increased 300 to 360. And required college area will be same for all as that of mega cities 60 percent of courses must have national board of accreditation nba within one year faculty of core branches by acquiring required credits can teach cs related subjects in parent department only by acquiring minimum 10 credits from nptl courses if you are electrical engineering department any faculty whoever acquired minimum 10 credits from nptl courses related to csc you are eligible to teach the csc courses of your department only like uh, all departments other than csc whoever acquired the minimum 10 credits from the NPTEL courses related to CSC. Then you can teach your department CSC courses only. In any institution, if admissions are less than 50 percentage for consecutively three years, then relaxation of 25 percentage will be given in faculty student ratio, that is FSR. How that was calculated at the end uh, that was given. Then placement portal by AICTE for rural students. Then adjunct faculty, whoever teaching subjects for 50 to 60 hours per semester will be counted as regular faculty. To start any new MTech program, NBA is must for its corresponding or allied undergraduate level program. Technical Education Regulatory TER charges increased by 10 percent Extended EOA for total duration of autonomous period that was given by UGC only. And one new BTEC program in Electronics and Telecommunication is added as a new core brand. No EOA or approval for pharmacy and architecture institutions by AICT as per the Supreme Court order. Coming to the norms for faculty requirement and cadre ratio, if you will consider undergraduate degree programs, technical institutions, engineering and technology, faculty student ratio is 1 is to 20. Then principal or director is 1. Professor is calculated by S by 20 into R minus 1. Associate professors are calculated by S by 20 into R into 2. Assistant professors S by 20 into R into 6. Total required faculty is calculated by S by 20. Here what is S? Sum of the number of students as for approved intake for all years. Then what is R here? 
the cadre proposition one professor two associate six assistant professor for one single section that is 1 plus 2 plus 6 by adding these three cadres equal to 9 that is r so now by using these formulas you can calculate for engineering and technology using how many professors how many associate how many assistants are required similarly for using planning then hotel management etc so similar uh, uh, thing for postgraduate programs mtech courses engineering and technology the faculty student ratio is 1 is to 15 earlier it is 1 is to 12 last year onwards it was increased to 1 is to 15 then how to calculate professor s by 15 into r associate s by 15 into r assistant s by 15 into r total faculty s by 15 here s equal to sum of the number of students as for approved intake for all years then r equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1, 1 professor, 1 associate, 1 assistant. This is for engineering, uh, same for MCA course, for management course, the ratio and the formulas are given here. For management, MBA 1 is to 20, for MCA it is 1 is to 20. For engineering and technology, MTech courses it is 1 is to 15. So earlier we mentioned if any institution having below 50 percentage admission in three consecutive years, then how to calculate the relaxation? 25 percentage relaxation is given. So that, that is calculated here. The sanction intake during last three academic years, let us assume 300. Average admissions during last three years, uh, out of 300 sanction intake, 175. This is above 50 percentage. Then duration of the course is four years, undergraduate. Faculty required as for norms, 60 faculty are required. Then recommendations, no change in this. If admission is greater than 50 percentage. So if total intake 300, then actual admitted students are 130. Then the average is, I mean, uh, below 50 percentage. Then total UZ, four divisions. As for required norms, 60 faculty are required. Then the recommendation is 25 percentage. 25 percent is relaxation is given that can be calculated 16 to 0.75 so 45 is the required faculty so like this uh, whoever having less than 50 percent is average of admissions for last three consecutive years 25 percent is rel relaxed for calculation of student faculty ratio The deadline for submission of application of EOA for the year 23-24, the timelines. So which will be commenced from 23 March 23. That will be continued till April 6th midnight without fine. Then with the penalty that is extended up to 13th April 2023 midnight. These are all the timelines uh, given by AICTE. All higher education institutions required to visit AICTE website www.aicte-india.org. You can go to home tab. There you can click on quick link in that approval process 23-24. This link is there regularly for all general notifications, updated information and official communications related to approval process for 23-24 are available in this portal. The references related to approval process handbook can be referred by using the following links. First, the, the official website of AICT is www.aict-india.org. For approval process handbook download, here this is the link available. So you can uh, use this link. Then public notice for approval process 23-24 available in this link. Then separately in the approval process 23-24 page, attachment separate uh, link is given. What it contains, whenever you can click on attachment, appendices, affidavits, certificates, formats, annexes, all are available in the attachment link. Okay, you can use these references. Hope this 
short video is useful to see the glance of major changes as per the approval process handbook for 23 24 stay tuned for latest updates